Hey guys, so back on the beautiful Hawks River this weekend and what a day, <laughs> it's like such gorgeous winter weather. Uh, so let's come out here for a nice little overnight camp and we're just going to sort of explore this section of the Hawkesbury which I've never been to before so I'm pretty keen to see what's around here and uh, we'll do a bit of fishing as well, hopefully we can catch something, I haven't had a whole lot of luck with the fishing over the last few trips so I hope we can try and yeah turn the tables in that but yeah it's just such a nice day to be out in the water, like this time of year, like winter you get these beautiful clear blue skies. Nice light wind, I think it's going to be a nice one. Bay here is just uh, full of oyster leases. Kind of takes away from the beauty of it a little bit. It's all these poles sticking out of the water. But maybe uh, I'll have a few casts around the oyster leases and see if there's any fish hiding amongst them. Oh, it's so nice. Such a beautiful day. I don't know why I don't really do many more canoe trips during winter. I really should start to. So I'm just up at the end of the bay. There's like a creek that comes out of the hills and flows through these mangroves. So if it's deep enough, I think I might try and see if I can paddle up the mangroves there. same issue last time I was in the Hawkesbury. Find a, a pretty tricky place to fish. Oh, I'm gonna hit that shrub. I'm definitely not the best at fishing salt water. Well, to be honest, I'm definitely not the best at fishing anything, but <laughs> I find salt water to be hardest to figure out, eh? Like I'm fishing the drop-offs of the sort of steep banks here, like the muddy banks. You think there'd be some flathead or some brim sort of swimming around here? I wonder if there's any like good mud crabs. I'll have to come up here one time with a, um, a crab pot, see if we have any luck. I wonder how long that's been sitting there for. <laughs> Looking a little worse for wear. Well, I think this is the end of the road for me. I don't really want to go too much further up this creek, so we'll make our way back to the main river. We'll uh, try and start to focus on trying to find a, a good little campsite.
But we've got some drawings of some fish up there. Although I dare say it's probably not Aboriginal. Kind of looks like something that yeah, just some young teenagers probably just did. But how nice is the sandstone? Gosh, that is absolutely beautiful. We've also got some flowering grass trees over there as well. It's getting pretty close to 4 o'clock, so I'm just going to try and find a campsite. Got about an hour till it gets dark. Now, I thought I was going to be able to camp at a spot back there. Um, there's a little bit of crown land on the beach, but um, there's actually a houseboat moored up for the night over there. So what I'm doing is paddling over to the other side of the river. And um, there's some crown land, bushland over here, and I'm pretty sure um, the beach is on crown land as well. So I should be able to camp there for the night. Such a nice time of the afternoon to be paddling as well. The sun's sort of poking its head out through the clouds and lighting up the, the mountains. It's really nice. You also see the ocean as well before through the headlands. You know, this paddle is like, I think it's like a 1.5 kilometer paddle across the river. And God knows how deep it is. <laughs> There's probably a fair few bull sharks swimming around underneath me, so it's definitely one place I yeah, don't want to capsize and go for a swim. Man, how good is this? This is such a sick little spot. You got like plenty of space for a few tents, nice little fire pit, and what a cracker of a view. Very stoked with this. All right, so I'll quickly show you guys this new pack that I got from Cedar Summit recently. So this is a Hydraulic Pro 50 litre version, and this is completely waterproof and airtight. So it's got this zipper, which you actually find on pack rafts as well. It's called a T-zip, and um, yeah, it just doesn't allow any water to get in or any air as well. So it keeps all your gear nice and dry. It's like a nice sort of duffel sized bag, um, but it's also got these shoulder straps as well, so you can wear it like a backpack. So. Yeah, really stoked with this. This is the first time using it, and it's definitely gonna be my go-to bag for these canoe trips. Might be able to use it on pack raft trips as well, but um, yeah, definitely for canoe trips, this is like such a winner. Like it's really well made, eh? Like I'm actually really impressed with it. So yeah, stoked to if I only have a decent bag for these canoe trips. Fire out, have a go at that sunset. He's absolutely turning it on. Oh, how good is this? What a body spot.
well, one of the best things about canoe camping are cold beers. Tonight we've got the, you can see that, Filter XBA, another delicious beer. Well, cheers guys. Well, pretty damn happy with this spot. It's a very nice little camp. I can't believe this is like the middle of winter. <laughs> It is such a nice temperature, it's beautiful. The good thing about our camping now, rather than like middle of summer, so last time I came here was middle of summer and it was stinking hot. There were like cicadas everywhere, mozzies, um, whereas now it is just beautiful. Someone's uh, kind enough to leave behind a grill, so I might chuck that on and we'll use the, the pan on top. Alright, so tonight's dinner is inspired by John from Lost Lakes um, on YouTube. If you guys haven't seen him, check him out. It's got some really good canoe content from uh, Canada. But yeah, it's going to be making a calzone. So I've just got uh, some garlic naan bread, which I'll use as like the, yeah, the base. And then we've got capskin, got some salami, got some pizza sauce some cheese and then just like a little mix of sun-dried tomatoes, some feta and some olives. So yeah, should be good. Let's get it on. I'm going to try my hardest not to burn this. Not too bad. Oh man, this already looks amazing. Oh man, that looks so good. Man, I'm so keen for this. This looks and smells bloody epic. Wow, that is so tasty. Such a quick and simple thing to cook as well. Like, that only took probably like two minutes to cook. Very quick to prepare. And like, as for the ingredients, like nothing really needs to be kept refrigerated. Like, even that cheese, you could get away with um, yeah, hiking that cheese in on a hiking trip and like, it'd probably be fine for like a day or two. I've hiked cheese in before and it's been sweet. So yeah, if you guys want to try something new, I would definitely recommend trying this though. It's so nice. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Last night was an interesting one. So I woke up at around about 12.30 and I could have swore that I heard some footsteps walking around camp. Like every now and then I'd hear some uh, footsteps walking through the water and like also up in the sand as well. And honestly have no idea what it was. Um, I was laying in the tent for like an hour just like trying to figure out what the hell it is, trying to stay really still as well and 
Usually I always sleep with a knife next to me, um, but last night I chucked the knife in the backpack, so it wasn't really within the easy reach. And sure enough, like the one night that I actually might need it, um, yeah, I couldn't really get to it quick enough. So yeah, very sketchy. Honestly, don't know what it was. So it could have been like a wild dog or an animal or something, but it kind of sounded like two feet. So I don't know, sound like a person. Like there is a walking track that goes up behind here, but it would have been very strange for like someone to be going for a walk like in the middle of the night. Like who knows, eh? Could be a yaoi. I always get people asking me, do I see yaois out here? And I feel like last night was probably a, a pretty high chance it could have been one. <laughs> so who knows? But uh, really nice conditions today. It's bloody gorgeous out in the water. Like there is no wind. Um, yeah, really nice sunny blue skies. So I'm pretty keen to pack camp down pretty soon. Like my feet are freezing. So I think we'll um, yeah, pack camp down. We'll um, jump back in the canoe and we'll probably go over to the other side of the river um, where there's some nice little beaches and stuff and check them out. This on it's all wet, wet and sandy. Oh, soaked. Let's fix the camera. Oh, so nice in the water today. There's barely a breath of wind. Although, a lot more boats out today. There's a few speed boats like jet skis and stuff like that. So, hopefully, it doesn't ruin the, the video. <laughs> How nice is this? You can see all the way out to the ocean through the heads there. Such a pretty little beach. And what a stunner of a day. It's almost nice enough that it's making me want to go for a swim. I'm definitely keen to come back during summer sometime and do like a big loop and check out all the beaches and the bays around here. I think that'd be a, a really nice little summer canoe trip. Thanks for the best day of my life. Man, there's so many oysters. I'd love to try and eat some, but I think I was reading the other day that they recommend not eating the oysters from the Hawksby River at the moment because there's some sort of algae bloom, uh, which is, yeah, making them unsafe to eat. But, yeah, such a shame because so many good ones here. Like a seaside sunrise somewhere along the PCH. It's cold in New England. May that chill grant you grace. The grace to remember. out alone for just one day alone to run back the time in slow motion i'd sell my guitars i'd spend life behind bars to take one more trip through the starry night Cause this was the best day of my life thanks for the best day of my life Promise you we promise you peace, my boy, but with heart on my sleeve, I'll give you everything. I'll give you 
Well, another beautiful little beach. The nice thing about this place is there's so many nice little beaches just to pop into. Just gonna come back here yeah, on a nice summer's day and yeah, do a little beach hop. You know, it'd be pretty cool. But yeah, I think I might start making my way back now. I don't really want to go too much further around. It's already after lunchtime, so I think we'll start heading back. A bit of a shame about the fishing this weekend. I haven't had a single bite eh? Like, I've been casting my little heart out, <laughs> and yeah, I haven't had a single bite. Absolutely struggling. I feel like I had the same issue last time I came to Hawkesbury. Like, I don't think I got a bite then either. So yeah, any of you guys who fish at Hawkesbury um, here regularly, feel free to give us some tips because I'm struggling. I don't know if the GoPro is picking it up or not, but it's like a oily slick on top of the water here. It's all like sort of rainbow colored. And it actually smells like sort of fuel or oil. It's terrible. All right guys, well I think I might wrap this one up here. So yeah, so I want to say a big thanks to all you guys watching. We really appreciate all your support and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey, Roo. Thank you.